Sony finally updated their truly wireless WF-1000XM4 headphones, and in this video, we're gonna put them head-to-head -head against the AirPod Pros to see which ones you should buy in 2021. In this video, we're not only gonna compare the design, the comfort, and sound quality, but also the active noise cancellation, their ambient or transparency modes, and microphones. That's something that often is missed. Sony updated their packaging to a more recyclable, friendly one, and it's interesting that they put a sticker over the printed packaging where it says interesting leading noise canceling. So I wonder what's under there. Do they have to update something? Let's go ahead and peel that off. Interesting. Okay. This says noise canceling, their original print. And then they had to put a sticker over that says industry leading noise canceling. They're stepping it up. That probably means that they wanted to wait until it was tested thoroughly to be able to say that. So let's see if it's gonna smoke the AirPods Pro. Now this looks like it's just, you know, it's supposed to be just thrown away right away. The quality isn't as good as the previous one, but we have our little instructions, a lot of booklets. And then of course the Sony's, they come with these foam ear tips which seal in really nicely into your ear. And that definitely helps with active noise cancellation. And look at the size of the actual case itself. You could tell that it is so much smaller than before. I have the previous model here. Look at that difference, it is massive. Uh, this was really kind of unusable. You really wouldn't want to throw this in your pocket, more like a gym bag or messenger bag backpack. But in your pocket, this size is much better. Now comparing it to the case of the AirPods Pro, you could see that height wise, it's actually a little bit lower. Lengthwise, it's a little bit longer, but as far as the thickness, we do, thick. we do still have a lot of <laughs> thickness. So that means when you put it in your pocket, you're gonna notice this thing bulging out compared to AirPods Pro. The, one of my favorite things about these is just how small the case is. You pretty much don't notice it in your pocket. Of course, we have USB Type-C for charging compared to Lightning, and I do prefer USB Type-C. And now, both of them do have wireless charging, which is great whereas this previous old crazy huge case did not have wireless charging built in. Now, I might as well mention battery life as well. The total battery life for both of these, including the buds and the cases, are about 24 hours. So that's similar, but what's really different is that the Sony earbuds have eight hours of charge for the earbuds themselves compared to four and a half hours. Now that is a big difference and you may not think that you really need that extra battery life, but keep in mind, once, you're, once you've used these for a year, two years, three years, that battery gets decreased and so that extra capacity will really start to come in handy. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and wow, look at that. These are actually larger than I expected looking at the images online. Now, one thing I also wanna mention is just the texture on here. It looks like the actual earbuds texture is the same as on the outside case. And I really like it. It feels kinda of like cardboard, kinda of like on the, uh, the Pixel 5. And because of the material, it's not gonna get all these scratches and scuffs like on the rubber older version. So let's go ahead and grab these earbuds out. The case itself is fairly lightweight. And let's look at the actual buds themselves. Yeah, these are definitely bigger than I expected. And comparing them to the AirPods, you definitely see a huge difference. If you're angling it the same way that it sits in your ear, or just looking at the back. These are much larger, but of course you don't have the stem that sticks down, so they can't hide extra tech and like the battery in that section, so it has to be bigger. But I'm personally curious about how these Sonys are gonna compare to the new Beats that also don't use a stem. If you guys wanna see a comparison, let us know below and hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna watch that. And you can also help us reach our goal of a million subscribers before the end of the year. That would be awesome. Now before I pop these in, the last thing I wanna say is I really like the look and the design. It's kind of a mix of both like natural materials and like industrial. I'm guessing this is probably a microphone, something right here, but definitely is a unique look, something that's a little different from the rest of the headphones that are out there. And now let's go ahead and pair these up and I'll pop them into my ears. Oh, there you go. Looks like they actually went into pairing mode automatically and they did show up. We have a lot of menus to go through. I'm gonna skip over those, but the one I wanna point out is a 360 reality audio that is very cool, just like Apple's new spatial audio. Sony did it first, but there are only a few apps that are actually compatible with that. And it looks like we are 
are all set up. Now I wanna comment on the comfort. I have those large phone tips in and they're blocking out a ton of sound right now. I'll talk about active noise cancellation just a bit, but even without that, man, it is hard to hear my voice. I feel like I'm not even speaking correctly. Maybe I'm not right now, but I do feel like the outer edges here um, touching my ears. So it's a little bit less comfortable. And of course my ears definitely feel plugged because there's no vent like feature like we have with the AirPods Pro where it releases that pressure. It makes them feel like more open back style headphones. And let's swap these out with the AirPods Pro. Of course, I'm so used to these. First thing, Without the noise cancellation, I definitely hear a lot more sound. So the Sony's black out naturally a lot. These are a lot more comfortable. I barely feel them. They feel a lot lighter than these. You could definitely feel these hold, holding them up, how much heavier they are. And of course you don't get that plugged feel. And then the ear tips are more comfortable as well. All right, active noise cancellation kicked in. I'm so used to the sound already. I hear a little bit of noise from that vent above. Other than that, most of it's blocked out. A lot of background noise is blocked out. So let's check these out and wow. Now I just hear my tinnitus <laughs> up there, the vent. I still hear it a little bit, but uh, definitely is blocking out more than uh, the AirPods Pro and active noise cancellation. Oh, uh, it turns out it's actually, it is on. So out of the gate, it was turned on. Let me go ahead and turn it off here. So um, I guess naturally they don't block out as much as I thought, still more than the AirPods, uh, but that was with, with active noise cancellation turned on. So definitely the active noise cancellation is better on these Sony's. It blocks out a lot more sound and the low frequency sound. Let me turn it back on here. Yeah, it does a killer job. These might be the best active noise cancellation here earbuds that I've ever heard. I'm, I'm stumbling through my words because of how much sound is blocking out. Now, how about people's voices? Let's say if you're on the subway or walking around somewhere, Vadim, go ahead and say something. Hey man, how do I sound? You sound very natural, oh, yeah? uh, but you sound a lot quieter. So let's go ahead and take these off. All right, Vadim, go ahead and say something else. All right, man, how do these sound, the AirPods? You're definitely a lot louder. I can, with those, I have to kind of think a little bit to hear you. Yeah. With these, I just kind of hear you without needing to hear you. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over to, to the transparency mode. All right, and it's so hard for anybody to beat, to beat Apple with these. These sound very natural. The vent sounds natural. My voice sounds natural. They kill it in this area. Vadim, go ahead and say something. How about me? How do I sound? Good? You sound exactly like loud. Perfect. Exactly how you sound. And this is gonna be an even tougher test. I mean, it's tough to do good active noise cancellation, but it's even more tough to have really good ambient mode or transparency mode. Switch over to ambient. Looks like it's set to 20. Okay. How's it sound? Well, my voice sounds a little weird. Yeah. Sounds like the high end is missing in my voice. Yeah. Go ahead and talk. What about my voice? Is it good? You sound natural, natural, surprisingly. You don't sound digital at all, like with some of the Samsungs. You still sound quieter though than you do in real life. Now, another really cool thing about these is that it has that speak to chat feature that Sony's been using. And now that I'm talking, Vadim, go ahead and talk. Hey, man. All right, yep, it switches over. There's a little bit of a delay, and if it hears my voice, it'll switch over to that, to ambient mode, so yeah. let me go ahead and stop talking. And then as soon as I start talking, wow, that delay is actually pretty pretty low. Maybe about half a second to a second of a delay, and let me stop talking. All right, there you go. So um, it looks like it takes maybe about 20 seconds to switch back to noise cancellation. That's actually good. You wanna have enough of a space there that it doesn't accidentally go back in if you're actually talking. Now there's another cool function if you don't wanna use the automatic mode, you actually just put your finger up like this and then it's gonna switch over to ambient sound like that. And then that literally just allows me to hear and I'm gonna take my finger off and bam, basically about a second later, it goes back to noise cancellation mode. It's a little bit extra effort and the delay here is actually about three seconds or so. So that's an option, but the automatic one works so well for your voice that I think I would just use that function. Now I also wanna see how that microphone works and what the quality is, but we're gonna wait on that. First, we're gonna test out the actual sound quality and we're gonna let you hear the music that we're hearing as well. We're gonna start out with our classic, the Max Tech song that everybody knows where we started from. Let me close this and pop in the AirPods and you guys will just see me enjoying the music from one side to the other. All right guys, I think we have the beats, 
of earbuds right here. <laughs> because these things have a ton of low end, a ton, and high end is a little bit weak. Sounds very unbalanced, but let's go ahead and go into our EQ. Let's set it to, how about vocal? I think that's what was really missing from that song. Let me go ahead and listen. I'll go through some of these EQs and then I'll give you guys my actual opinions for that song because that factory setting was just not good. All right, so for me, treble boost sounds the best. And even then, it seems like it could use a little bit more high end. So what is my first impression? Well, once I switched over to the treble boost there, they definitely sounded a lot more balanced, but still had a lot of bass. Now that might be great depending what you listen to. Uh, the mids were slightly lost in that bass. Now the AirPods, they don't sound the best, but overall they are fairly balanced. You could see based on EQ sheets that Apple did a fairly good job there. So for this song, I think that the AirPods Pro do take the win, but let's go ahead and switch over to our next song, which is classic. I'm a little bit disappointed. The bass is very heavy, almost maybe too heavy. It's kind of the difference between with the AirPods, maybe you have a nice Bose system in your car and you have some good bass because there's an actual built-in subwoofer. And this is when you put like two 15s in the back. <laughs> very low. <laughs> and even though I went into the EQ here um, and I have it set to the, to the uh, what is it called, treble boost preset here, I feel like I just need to go in and remove some of this here. The other issue that I had is that it just wasn't loud enough. Now, do you need it to be loud with active noise cancellation? No, you don't. But if you're somebody like me and you enjoy loud music, you don't really get it from these. And then the other thing is, with the AirPod Pros, you do have a little bit of a space, like you feel it's a little bit wider than just in your ears. Where these, you don't have much of that at all. Let me go ahead and try that again. I'm gonna hit play. Let's turn down the bass, the clear bass going down. Okay, that's a little bit better. I wish I gave our mind, but I can't. I don't know, guys. I'm not loving these. I don't know. The clarity doesn't seem to be there. And I don't know if anybody else has talked about this or, you know, about other people's reviews, but man. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna maybe, I'll pull some of these down. Let's go ahead and listen to our next song. This is a rock song. It's very difficult. You guys probably saw my face there. <laughs> I didn't try to make that face. I just didn't really want to listen. I wasn't enjoying the music there. I actually listened to that song a couple more times afterwards. Um, and I ended up with this EQ and I feel like a fool for kicking all this up this much. But the problem is I realized with these headphones is there's no clarity on the high end. Very little clarity. If you're a bass head, you listen to hip hop, that's gonna be great for you. But if you enjoy listening to classical or a wide variety of different music, and you want to be balanced, you don't really get that. And that's really what I was disappointed with. And just the vocals in that song were just hidden between all the other layers there. And now let's go ahead and test out the microphone. It's gonna be our final test here. We'll start out with the AirPods Pro. This is the microphone quality that you can expect from Apple's AirPods Pro. And this is the microphone quality from Sony's new WF-1000XM4s in a fairly normal room. All right guys, let me know which microphone sounded better down in the comments section below. And now it is time for the final verdict. Which one of these should you buy? Well, let me start out by saying that if this video sounded biased, go check out the comparisons against the Samsung Galaxy Buds, especially the Galaxy Bud Pros. I was really shocked and I love the sound quality. They were a lot better than the AirPods. But in this case, these really disappointed me. And I really spent so much time after each song going through tweaking, listening again, to make sure I give them the best chance and sound quality. And it just did not do it for me at all. Samsung's at about half the price or so after discounts, 
sound better than these, noticeably better. Now, the, the active noise cancellation is awesome. Definitely the best strong suit. Of course, it's a big update compared to the old ones, but I have to say the sound quality to me sounds worse than the old XM3s. I don't know if they just had to make the driver smaller because of the smaller design and having to pack everything into a smaller case or what, but that just doesn't cut it. And of course, compared to the AirPods, these cost more, 280 compared to 250, or as low as 200 or even 190 on sale. We'll leave some links down below. And they're also less convenient in your pocket because of how thick that case is. It actually seems like a little bit thicker than the old case. Um, so overall, I am a bit disappointed after that long of a wait because number one for headphones is sound quality. You're listening to things. They don't get as loud and the clarity is just not there for me but that is my opinion. All right, guys, well, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Click that circle above if you guys wanna subscribe and help us reach our goal of a million subscribers before the end of the year. We have a couple great videos right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video.